This is Tyler Parker, live episode of Pin Drop Discussions Conversation. Haven't done one of these in a while. Um, this one is supposed to be reserved for like guests and, you know, like it says, conversations, but, you know, um, I feel like I already put out a pin drop for tomorrow, well, today at 8 o'clock, and I was supposed to share this, but I didn't want to put more content out on the same podcast platform, so here we go. But it's within the same breath, so I am going to do a little background music in here just to, you know, set the... Let me see. Can I? Huh. I don't know if that worked. Hold on. Wait, I can't figure out how to do that. Can I? Ooh, nope. I'll have to, wow, yeah, I can't do it that way, okay, anywho, let's see if I can, okay, there, perfect, there should be some low jazz music playing in the back. Um, I made that beat on an app. Uh, Shameless plug, shout out. I'm trying, just trying out stuff. So, verse of the day yesterday was from Matthew 4 and 23. I do not have my glasses on, so pardon me. It says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Like the caption of this video says, I almost cried. And here's why I'm gonna read it again slower. <clears throat> Bear with me, good people. And Jesus went about all Galilee teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Like I said multiple times before, I am not a teacher. I am not teaching. However, this made me cry because of the word there. Mind you, this is a translation. It might not be the Hebrew version. Actually, I could just like re- research that real quick. Yeah, let me do that. Since I'm sitting here on a live. Um, what, 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 was, what was that scripture? scriptures and all that good stuff. Okay. Screen eyes. And where is the... No. This is the new... There we go. New Messianic version. NMV. <clears throat> then Yeshua, God is salvation, went around the land of Galil, circuit teaching their assemblies and preaching to them the good gift of the kingdom of heaven and healing all the sick and every disease among the people. And this is a copyright text from 2000 to 2018 uh, from T.O.V. Rose. Okay, so, oh, the time is almost up on that uh, jazz music. It's got another 19 seconds. Okay, so... In short, 
the word there is in there. <laughs> there is in there. Uh, hold on, let's play on words. The reason why that almost made me cry, because it's like you, like, you are Yeshua. You are God in the flesh. And you are preaching in their synagogues. Bro, they are your synagogues. <laughs> like, and the reason that almost made me cry is because it just sometimes it's like we can build these things, erect these things, and it will be for him, but it will be theirs and not his. Like, you see how that is, uh, I just... Bruh, it literally almost brought tears in my eyes while I was reading it yesterday. Cause I was just like, bro, that's that's crap. Like he's the like he's the son of God, comes in the flesh, and he's teaching, and it's so unrecognizable that it's still in the control of man. Mind you, it might not be. I might be reading a little bit too much into it and just taking out my own perception. However, to me, that signifies, like, why he came the way that he did and lived the way that he did and died and rose the way that he did. Like, because it's like, it's about him, but it's not about him. Like, he's not egotistical. Like, if that if that makes any sense, it's like, we don't serve a God who's like, yo, I'm so big, I'm so powerful, worship me because I'll smush you or I'll squash you or, you know, like, I don't, like, I don't, like, it's, that's not, <laughs> like, that's not why he's like, come to me because I love you, come serve me because I love you, come live with me, come dwell with me, come have life with me, come, let me show you these things because I love you, like, you don't even understand the concept of love, like, I've seen on social media in in conversation a couple of times, like people, we have this idea that, you know, love is like, <laughs> man. So the thought that I had this morning when I came back um, was like, yo, you know, some friendships, you just like, you know, we're like this day one friendship. But what about a friend that's like there? From day zero, because nobody really likes day one, especially if you're talking about like, you know, going to the gym or doing something, starting something new, like day one is hard. So the reason why we like glorify like day one friendships and day one relationships is like, okay, well, we just never left. We just never disconnected. You know what I'm saying? Like day one been with me since the ground from the mud. You know what I'm saying? All that do 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 whoopity 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 whoop. And it's just like... Well, are you a day one because, like, you just didn't want to do anything else? Y'all, like, trauma bonded or y'all just, like, disconnected that way? Like, I mean, if so, I mean, you know saying? If y'all got a Jonathan and David relationship, that's what's up. That's what's popping. Now, if it's something else, then, you know, it could be. It, it could be whatever. Who knows? Who really knows besides who's in it, you know, um, in God? So I think it's just like um, we glorify this like, like, oh, I need to, you know, like have this standard of what this definition is. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life it's like we he was the one that first loved us from before the foundation of the world like love sometimes it happens before you even know it before you can even describe it before you can even fathom what a day one is before you can eat like before there was a day <laughs> we were thought about like you know what i mean i talked about um first Genesis 1 and 2 um, on the podcast coming out at 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's like, bruh, before it was a day one, there was a void. There was a darkness. Like, there was a there was a thought, like, the voice of God or the the spirit of God moved upon the face of the dark, upon the face of the waters. And it's just like, yo, somewhere between that point and the first day we were thought about. 
like, maybe even before that, you know what I mean, like, I just think sometimes we just focus so heavily on trying to get our point across, or trying to get our explanation across, that it becomes this, this really big thing, and I think that's where this scripture is coming from when it says their synagogues is like oh it still belongs to you however the person that you're believing in and like you know the whole culture is supposed to be based around is literally standing in front of you preaching it's literally giving you the signs miracles and wonders in front of you but yet you're going to kill him yet. Well, you're going to, you're going to fulfill prophecy. I won't say kill him. Um, it's going to be for our betterment. Like God will take a messy thing and just turn it into something like really beautiful. Love that about him. I, I'm, I'm starting to see that more and more. Cause I'm like, bro, if you destroy, not God, like not him being bro. My thought is like the fil- bro is the filter. <laughs> Bro is not the, like, like there's, like, the holiness. And then there's, like, way, way, way under there is me processing. And bro is, like, right there. So it's not me saying, like, God is bro. Like, bro is the, it's the buffer. It's a buffer zone. And then, like, you know, like, I've got to have a thought. And then I come to Jesus about it. And then it's, like, okay, now I can, whew, now I can get there and be in your presence. Uh, I just need a moment to, like, really let that just let that uh hit my hit my system so i need a bruh moment <laughs> like hey yo this is crazy so the bruh moment is like um what was i talking about i lost my train of thought anyway i was talking about the filter uh holy spirit bring it back to my mind Please. Okay. There was the moment. There was the. um, What it was. What he. Was to us. What Jesus was to us. When he walked the earth. Is what he had to be. And you know. I, I know that people. Wanted him to be something. Other than what he was. Because, you know, they wanted the military leader to restore the kingdom and restore the... They wanted him to be this, like... They wanted him to be a thug. Like, I'm convinced now, more than ever, that the reason why he had the disciples around him and they were the, they were who they were was not because it was like Jesus was like them. It was because he wasn't going to be like them. Like, that is a, that, 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 that was the difference. You know what I mean? Like you take them from different professions. You take them from different uh, scenarios and backgrounds. And then a lot of them go back to doing the same thing after they have a, like, after they have a relationship with them. So it's just like, it's not even that, you know, Jesus, like, I I saw that on a clip one time. Somebody was like, Jesus would probably be riding a Harley. Bro, he probably would not. He might be around people riding Harley. Jesus would not get a tattoo. I'm going to just go ahead and say that. Like, that, it's just... He wouldn't be doing the things that the world does to be like the world. He would be set apart. Like, we can't keep doing that, man. Like, we can't keep just saying, like, oh, you know, he would have been doing it. No. Now, there might be somebody that will do like culture does and say, this won't break me. That doesn't mean that it's not broken. It just means, like, there's there's the buffer of holiness. Like, there's, like, that. we, we got to. There's, there's a holy there's, there's, there's some holiness missing so uh I mean I'm really not the person to be talking about this uh, I really don't know why this would be on my heart so heavily because bro I am not the I am not the person to be saying this I, I, I just I, I try to like filter it because it's like I feel like I could say more but I don't because of where my walk is so so I'm like bro I don't know <laughs> Look, man, I'm not the one, I'm not the one to say it. I'm not the one to teach it. I'm not the one to get up and be like, yo, lead the chart. No, nope, not, not it. I, I'm just sharing 
my thoughts. So um, I hope you get you gain something from it. Learn not not even learn something. Just just walk with me, experience with me, hear me out, talk to me, feedback. That's that's it. That's way longer than it was supposed to be. It was only supposed to be like five minutes, and now it's like fifteen. But uh, content on content on content. So um, love you guys. Be easy. There was really that was the purpose of just sharing like who Jesus was and the fact that it said they are synagogues. That was literally the thing that made me um, tear up because it's just like, bro, how much, how much longer? Will we continue to do the same things and say the same things and just miss his character? And again, I know if you like you take a magnifying glass, if you I am in the military and we have a thing called inspection, bro, if there was an inspection. It's not pretty. Like my life is not the prettiest. I, I it needs some work. It needs some touching up. It's rough around the edges, real rough. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, love you guys. Pin drop discussions. Aqua fitness. I think that was my little plug. Um, there's gonna be an episode at eight o'clock. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are enjoying Pin Drop. Check out the YouTube for Aqua Fitness. <clears throat> some good stuff coming. There's a website coming at some point. I don't know when. Don't ask me about it. All right. Peace.